We're going to devote much of the programme today, all of the programme today, to our latest revelations on the use of mesh to treat hernias. We have patients, surgeons and politicians here in the studio this morning. And it goes without saying, if you are affected because you have a hernia mesh or think you have a hernia mesh, because some people do not even know they have mesh inside them, do get in touch this morning. You can email, uh, you can text us, you can message us on Twitter. We can reveal that more than 100 different types of mesh devices to treat hernias by NHS trusts in England and Scotland are being sewn into patients when some haven't even been subjected to clinical tests. It's led to the claim that patients are being treated like guinea pigs because certain types of mesh implants, which by the way are permanent, are being used based on little or no medical evidence. It's nearly three years since we first revealed hundreds of women were taking legal action after experiencing complications following vaginal mesh repairs. Now that particular operation has been suspended for the majority of women while a government review takes place. Hernia mesh repairs, however, continue. Since October, October last year, we have been repeatedly asking to interview the government, health bodies and leading surgeons about this. But again and again, we've been turned down by the government's Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, the MHRA, by the Royal College of Surgeons, by NHS England and the Department of Health, and by the British Hernia Society. It's never too late though, so if the Health Secretary or any health ministers in England or Scotland are watching, we can talk to you via FaceTime or Skype or over the phone. Literally, please just do text me 61124 or send me an email, victoria at bbc.co.uk. And of course, we will make room for you on our programme today. In the meantime, here's our reporter Anna Collinson's first film. 